Hi, I'm Deirdre from the Business Insight Company. This video covers the second part of a segmentation analysis done with Stardust. Stardust is a segmentation tool from Business Insight. Inside the first introductionary video, we saw how to create a good segmentation model. Inside this video, we will show you how to describe each segment from a business perspective. This is the main window of Stardust. You can see the whole studied population here in three dimension. Each point represents an individual. You have two operating modes in this window the camera move and rotation mode and the mouse pick mode. You can switch from one mode to the other by clicking the middle mouse button. The camera rotation mode is very useful to search for the best angle to view your customers and the segmentation. The rendering of the 3D display is performed using OpenGL libraries. These high performance libraries allow to easily display 1 million customers in real time. When you click the big green button, Stardust offers you many different camera angles. When you're pleased with the angle, you can stop the camera rotation by clicking anywhere inside the window. Stardust contains the graphical annotation tool that allows you to save any insight you could find about your segments. To open the annotation tool, click here. For example, you could save the current display inside the annotation tool. Inside our population, some people are older, some people are younger, but you cannot see who is old or young because here we only see the first three PCA axes. You can ask Stardust to represent the original axes in 3D. So let's do that. For example, the age axis. The projection of the age axis from a seven-dimensional space to a three-dimensional space is represented here. These are the oldest customers. And these are the youngest customers. We can represent many different original axes inside the space formed by the PCA axes. The original axes that represent the same concept, they are correlated together, will point in the same direction. You can see that the capital gain is in the opposite direction of the capital losses and is more or less in the same direction than the dividends from stocks. From this chart, we see that the individuals with the highest capital gains are here. This suggests that the purple segment contains the richest people inside the population. Let's study the purple segment in more detail. Let's say that we are interested in two variables. The number of people that worked for an employer, this is the first variable that we're interested in, And the other variable is the age. We want to see if the purple segment has special characteristics related to these two variables. Let's select the purple segment and, in real time, we see all the charts updating. In red, we have the distribution of the age amongst the whole population. You can see 7% of the population ages between 2 and 6. In blue, we have the distribution of the age for the selected individuals. We see that, inside the selection, inside the purple segment, we have mainly people that are between 40 and 60 years old. Inside Stardust, all the charts update in real time when the selection changes. So let's select something else. And you can see the selection moving when we're updating it. Once we have found an interesting chart, we can always add this chart into the report. We can see that the chart appeared here. The age variable is interesting because its distribution is totally different inside the purple segment than inside the global population. In other words, the blue histogram is very different from the red histogram. A measure of distance between two histograms, between two distributions, is the kullback leibler distance. The variable with the highest kullback leibler distance is the most interesting variable to characterize a segment. Let's select only the purple segment. Let's have a look at the variable with the highest kullback leibler distance. Inside this window, we see all the variables sorted by their kullback leibler distance from the highest kullback leibler distance to the lowest. 
You can see that the kullback leibler distance changes a little when we play with the aggregation level of the modalities. So, you can play a little with it until you're happy with the result. And, as always, when you're satisfied with the chart, you can always add this chart to the final report. We just discovered that the purple segment is mainly populated by rich individuals. Let's render in three-dimensional full screen the purple segment. We have selected the purple segment. We will create a group based on the selection. Groups allow you to configure the 3D display. Let's create a new group based on the selection. Add a new group based on the current selection. We will give a name to this group. It's Rich People. and only render on the screen the rich people so these are the rich people now let's say that we want to know where the women are inside this 3D view let's open the gender variable here and create a new group based on the women add a new group based on the current modality so now we can see in red all the rich women. This is quite interesting. We can change the symbols. For example, if you don't want a heart, but instead a dollar symbol, and we have here dollars instead of hearts to represent women. We can even ask Stardust to add to the mouse selection all the visible females by clicking here. So you see, all the women are now in blue. After, we can ask to know the primary key of all these women. The display is a little bit crowded, so let's change the size of the label slightly. But it's still too crowded to see anything. When you can't see anything because it's too crowded, you can ask Stardust to create a new PCA projection that is especially tailored to show you this part of the space. This is done this way. PCA. I want to have the projection that is the most adapted to the rich people. And now, I obtained a new projection that allows me to better see all the rich people. I can even ask to place the age direction and I can see that the oldest women are here, the youngest are here. So this one is interesting, the women with index 94515. As you can see, you can visually explore all your data really dig into each segment to find interesting insight about your customers. Using the real-time PCA you can zoom on interesting parts of space. And don't forget, the most important thing, don't forget to write down all your findings into the graphical notepad included inside Stardust. If you're interrupted in the middle of an analysis, you can always save by clicking here. Close Stardust and later on, you will be able to go back exactly where you left off. This concludes our brief tour on the possibilities of Stardust. Please refer to the documentation to have more information about the k-means parameters and the advanced 3D display system based on groups. The second generation data mining software, TIM Stardust module, allows you to easily segment your customer base by using the most advanced, state-of-the-art segmentation methodology. The future of database marketing starts right now with Tim. For more information, please visit our website at www.business-insight.com.